A vacation. What is the Webster's dictionary definition of vacation? Well, it's a respite or a time of respite from something. Synonyms are holiday, a period of exemption or relief, or to break free, which is to get away by overcoming restraints or constraints. Unless you have an eating disorder. In that case, vacations are pure torture filled with anxiety, fear, overwhelm, more anxiety. Just take it from me. No, not this version of me. Me from years ago, back when I was suffering with multiple eating disorders. And I was looking through my camera roll the other day and I found a bunch of videos back from when I traveled to Europe multiple years ago. And I noticed that there were no pictures of me at the Eiffel Tower. There was no pictures of me visiting all these fun monuments. There were thousands of videos of me walking around grocery stores, talking about the food I was looking at. You guys, I'm dying here because look at this. There is no canned food. Look at this. I have butternut squash, coconut soup. All it is is carrot, coconut, butternut squash, and salt in a little can. That's so perfect. I'm gonna buy it and I'm really excited. Going in that store it made me so excited for going back to the States to have my kombucha, to have my organic vegan cheese, to have fresh fruits and vegetables and good organic products and uh, I'm so 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 excited. Um, really really cool to see that France is getting organic, vegan, everything, that type of just like natural fresh foods. Uh, I almost died in there guys. I'm like, I don't know how I made it out alive. Absolutely dying in this store. Look at all the bulk bins, all the organic food. Oh my goodness. It is so cool in here, and I just I can't wait to go back home to have good food like this. But it's so cool to see Europe getting like good vegan, organic um, food stuff. This store, oh my gosh, I'm just like all of this stuff. So now here I am, years later, fully recovered from all my eating disorders, and I am ready to pack my bags and to go on an amazing trip back to France to do it right this time. To come along with me on my journey, make sure you like and subscribe so that you get notified when I come out with my next video. Okay, we get to the airport and one of the first things that we do is we go and order some fried chicken. This is the start of the food freedom vacation, right? Fried chicken is one of like one of my favorite things, not gonna lie. Alright, we are getting on the plane right now. It's gonna be a long time. So I'm thinking back to the last time I was in Europe, right? And I remember the flight being so daunting because it was 11 hours of sitting down and Chloe that was addicted to exercise didn't like that. But now as you see, I get on the plane and literally the first thing that happens of course is I have a laugh attack. Good timing, Chloe. But as you can tell, definitely am not scared or anxious of flights anymore. On a arrivé. Paris. <laughs> All right, so we just got to Marina's aunt's house. We opened up the blinds and look at what we see. 
Right there we have Littorfell, the Eiffel Tower. So beautiful. All right, so my mom is in France right now. She's in Paris and we just got here and my mom called and said she's gonna take us out to lunch. So we are getting ready. We're gonna go out to lunch. So I'll see you guys there. My mom chose the restaurant. It was this cute little just like bistro. I got this salad that had a bunch of roasted potatoes on it, salami, cheese, egg, you know, good hearty yummy salad. And as expected, the jet lag set in. I am beyond exhausted. Can't even think about moving my body. And it is like 110 degrees in Paris today. But I only was able to sleep for like two hours because I was going with Marina to go meet up with her aunt uh, because she's taking us out to dinner. So super sweet. We get taken out to dinner twice in one day. I am absolutely dead. We got lunch today with my mom and now we're going to go get dinner with Marina's aunt. And then we're going to sleep the whole night, hopefully. Um, try and get a little sneak peek of what we get for dinner. Dinner was at this adorable little place. Her aunt is super fun and very lively. Um, I ordered myself a starter of uh, shrimp and they serve it with bread and this kind of like honey mustard sauce. One of my favorite things to get in France, honestly, is shrimp. Um, and then I got Coquille Saint-Jacques, which is scallops. And this was over a bed of like creamy, creamy mashed potatoes. It was so good. like unbelievably good and then of course classic french style we end the night with some ice cream then made our way back to our little home and gosh isn't this view just amazing coming up on the flow with chloe edition in france it's i got chocolate hazelnut and pistachio it's like the perfect combo <laughs> you guys <laughs> We just had the most funniest moment. <laughs> we got these sandwiches made for us for free. Alright guys, I got my Alright, officially super excited to be here. Ah! 